Good evening, Villabella families. I was going to do a quick walkthrough on School Dismissal Manager. Open a web page and you can just search School Dismissal Manager or you can go to schooldismissalmanager.com. Uh, then you're going to want to enter your username, which you should have received in a parent letter straight from School Dismissal Manager. Check your spam folder as it may have gone there. Um, if you need us to resend that letter, we are happy to do that. Just email office at villabellaschool.org and we can resend that letter. It will give you a username and a first time password. Once you log in, it will prompt you to update your password. So once you're logged in, this parent PIN number can be viewed by clicking on this I here and then you'll see what the four digit parent PIN number is. This is new from last year. You will need that after you scan the QR code as you enter the car loop or as you're walking up. You'll scan the QR code and then it's going to ask for your PIN number and the first three digits of your last name, I believe. Once you're logged in, you can check your preferences, um, make sure that everything's correct, change your password if needed. If you don't want to be listed in a directory, you can opt out here. What the directory does is if you're going to carpool with another family, you can change you can actually assign that person to pick up your kids and then we see that exception so that we can get all of those students to the correct vehicle if you're going to carpool or if you have another parent picking up your student. So make sure those preferences are correct. Then default dismissal is where you're going to go to basically set the default dismissal. So depending on the situation, um, most of the time you're just going to do update default dismissal and depending on the situation most people are going to be car loop or park and walk up you'll select that and then you can actually assign who is picking up um, if it's not you so you can just click yourself if it's you or you can assign someone to pick up your student then you would click update default dismissal now reoccurring is the reoccurring uh, dismissal instructions are if there's like a reoccurring exception for example if every Wednesday you want your student to stay for YMC af after school care you'd select your students and then you would say um, after school care and you could say Wednesday only on Wednesdays and then every week and then you start it whenever they're gonna start doing after school care and then you can put an end date and you can actually name that reoccurring instruction to be, you know, after school care. Um, so that would go through and change every Wednesday to after school care. And you only want to do the reoccurring dismissal instructions for those types of situations. Uh, most of the time you just want to do your default dismissal. Now let's say on Tuesday um, your student's not going to do the car loop for whatever reason so you can actually add the exception so default is usually someone's coming through the car loop or parking and walking up but on Tuesday um, they're not going to be here so we don't need to worry about it or um, they actually ended up riding their bike that day so they're going to be biking home instead and then you can type in the destination and then you update schedule change and that lets us see the exception on our end uh, the other piece of this is uh, the late arrival or if you're leaving early and coming back you can add those things too so this is great for a dentist appointment for example you can let us know that hey uh, we need to pick up our student at 1230 um, for a dentist visit and um, you can just say who you are here and then you'd hit submit and so that's um, late arrival and then if you're leaving early and coming back and the other way to uh, the other way to do this is the other thing that you guys need to know how to do is the absence so um, if you're making an exception uh, this is how you would report an absence so if they're not going to be at school for whatever reason um, even if they're a remote learner and they're not going to be available to get online and do something that day you're gonna say absence tell us why and then update the schedule change so this is that's 
very easily how you report an absence from this app. Um, I think that's most of it. I think there's some help videos here. You can send a message straight to us if you need to, and we can, we can help with that, and then just logging out when you're done. Uh, it looks very similar on your phone, uh, Apple phone. I, Apple and uh, Droid phones both work. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, reach out to office at Villabella School and we can help you get squared away. Thank you very much.